Hi, this is MJ from Fusion Fundamentals. Uh, in today's video, we're going to have a look at what we can do with a basic loft, just using a few steps, how I can create this spoon shape. Um, it's a bit of a random one, but it's a fun little exercise just to practice. So follow along and see how you go. So to get started with this one, we're just going to do a sketch on the top plane. This will be quite an easy, quick video, um, just to get an idea of something that you can do with loft, as well as just create a little model. Um, I'm going to start with creating an ellipse from the center point here. I will go out 80 and then 30. This, the size isn't really important. And this is just so we've got something to work with. So we've got that shape there. Then I'm going to construct a plane off the top plane down 15 millimeters. Let's go minus 15. So we've got a plane there. Now we'll create a sketch on that plane. We just want a point that we can loft to. So I'm going to project this point over there. Let's see. Here we've got a point on that plane. So we've done lofts between various shapes before, but never to a point. So if we go into our loft tool over here, we'll select this profile and then we select the point. We can see it actually creates a shape to it. And over here we've got the option of sharp and point tangent. So on sharp you can see it makes almost like a cone, but at point tangent that line is tangential to the point we have put in there. So then we get this nice little cup shape. Um, so what we're going to do with this now is just make a spoon just so that we can actually do something with this shape. So I'm going to shell this and I'm going to go one millimeter So now we're going to create a sketch on this top plane here. This will be the handle of the spoon. We'll just select a point. I actually want to project these lines. And then we're going to use our spline tool from this line. This sort of how you would imagine a spoon shape, hand, handle shape. Um, not the most artistic person, so but for the sake of being a practical spoon, it'll do the job. Okay, so we've got that handle shape. Then we'll create a construction line just along this plane so that we got something to mirror off of. Select the spline that we just did, mirror, and there we can see it mirrors it nicely and it joins up at that point. But now the problem is if I have to extrude that down, it would stop about there and it wouldn't be making contact with the profile of the head of the spoon. So I'm gonna go back into the line tool and I'm gonna draw a line from this point and I'm just gonna follow the line of this handle more or less and we wanna just draw it up to that point over there. Do the same thing on this side. And it didn't quite come into contact with that line. So I'm just gonna get this little spline around here to make sure that it's joined up. Because if this profile isn't closed off we won't be able to do our extrude. So finish sketch. I will extrude down. And we want to go down by one millimeter. And it's not a cut operation, it's a join. And there we go. So that's what our little spoon looks like. Very simple, straightforward exercise. It's just a way of having a look at something we can do with a loft.
hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe and maybe leave a comment if you need any help with any of your work please get in contact with me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com until next time cheers